Well, what we're so excited about with the launch of My WW Plus, and by the way, it's great to be back and hope everybody's terrific, um, is that it really offers a complete holistic solution to a personalized and customized wellness and weight loss ecosystem across every aspect of nutrition, activity, mindset, motivation, and sleep. So it's all in one and powered by AI and data with the utilization of an assessment, it creates a completely personalized and customized program for you. And the benefit of that is the more engaged someone is, the more successful they're gonna be because the most more personalized the program is going to be. And this is the first time that we've had a significant innovation launch in a non-food innovation year. So we launched my WW last year to great success. Um, and this is now taking it to a completely other level at a time when people are looking for a complete solution for all their health and wellness needs. It's really, it, it shows how you're trying to transform the company, both from a digital perspective, but also beyond just dealing with weight loss. So, so how should investors think about new products like this and, and the difference in margins and the economics than the sort of old school Weight Watchers meetings, which is what we right. used to think of for the well, company? Well, you know, what we've seen through this pandemic is not a shift in our strategy. It's been an acceleration of our strategy to truly be a technology experience with what we call a human-centric overlay. And certainly community is still critical to our success and more important now than ever. But to really look at us as one, a science-based trusted brand. Two, now we can personalize and customize every aspect of wellness. What we've also seen with the acceleration of our strategy, particularly on our digital membership. So, at the end of Q3, our third quarter membership of 4.7 million subscribers was a high for a Q3, but driven by digital signups, which is why you saw such a high flow through to margin at 60% digital members. That's an 80% margin um, business, and that was reflected in the performance. So it's really validating all the work that we've done over the last number of years. Also, we've been able to pivot very, very quickly in a virtual world. So actually, in December, we're launching two new membership verticals, one called Digital 360, um, which is definitely geared to a millennial audience that's all about coaching, community, and on-demand content, but also built on top of the digital platform, so a higher margin vehicle. And then we're launching digital plus unlimited workshops because now we have the ability to not be con constricted by geography. So we can do all our workshops by cohort virtually. And that's going to be a very important element for us as well to both reach new audience and expand who we can serve. Mindy, has a lack of typical day-to-day -day routine uh, and work from home made it harder for people to stick to their plans, whether that's uh, around weight loss or healthiness or, or whatever it might be? So Wilfred, here's what we're seeing, and it's been an evolution. But what we're seeing right now is people are doing what I call a radical reappraisal of how they live, how they work, what they value. Um, and now they realize that their health is not a luxury. It's a necessity in this environment. So they are looking for tools and utilization and a partner that can help them with whatever their needs are to lead a healthier life. The second thing that we're seeing is people want to start having aspects of control. The world is so chaotic around them that they want to be able to control what they can do. And the idea of giving them a tool with such a high level of engagement and support, things like five-minute coaching, um, meal planning, everything that they need, sleep tracking that integrates with all devices. So they have one tool that can cover 
everything they need to feel that they have that sense of control. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.